by demons. No. Shall I give you a verse? No, why do we Shall I give you a verse? According to the, the the answer is Exodus chapter 22, no, verse 20. It mean says mean anyone who worships other than mean the God of Israel should be put to death. If that verse is valid until now, then all Christians should be put to death. Right. That's all I'm saying. Talk to me. I'm here. Runs away. I'm minutes, using your Bible. Minutes, I'm not writing. Eight minutes, ten minutes. According to Bible, Jesus minutes, was deceived right. by God you of the Bible. He's gonna run. You okay. ran away from your first Why did Allah deceive Muhammad at uh, the Battle of Badr? Show me where. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Show me where Allah Surah said I deceived the Prophet Muhammad. Okay, challenge. I said to Muhammad, challenge. I showed them to you as few I in challenge. number, but there were many I challenge in number, you. so you didn't lose courage. Listen. I okay. challenge you. Why does the Bible listen, say, listen, do I challenge you. you. I challenge you. Who won the battle of Badr? Who won the battle of Badr? I Jesus challenge you. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the Jesus life. is the way and the truth by saying, drink poison. Listen, listen. The Bible tells me. No, God he doesn't want to me. listen. Do okay, I will talk as well. So he doesn't want to listen. Answer the fool in his body, you want time? Can like him? Do you want timing? Sir, do you do want answer timing? the fool do if you he want becomes timing? wise in his own eyes. I think it's not eyes. normal then. No. If you see someone talks by himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's wise in his own eyes. Yes, do you want he's wise in his own eyes. Does he want timing? Okay. Okay. You're going like this to me. You talk with yourself. According to the Bible, if you worship any other God, other than the God of Israel, you should be put to death. Exodus chapter 22, verse 20. According to the Bible, Jesus is deceived by God of the Bible. Do you know what God of the Bible is saying? If a prophet is given a false message, I, the Lord, deceive that message. Prophet. According to the Muhammad, according to Ezekiel, Allah Akbar, and Muhammad said, Ah, come to me, I will give you the waters of life. But he didn't. He didn't Wait, give him the waters of life. Jesus to is Lord. Every knee will bow. Jesus is Lord. No other name. That message. So Jesus has given false messages. Mark, Muhammad, John, you told me he lost. Verse 32. And again, Mark, no one chapter 15, verse 34. So Jesus was given false messages. So Rise and time to run. Always you can't answer the question. You should be ashamed, Muhammad. Yeah. Islam should be ashamed that, that you can't answer one Jesus question. Of the Bible. That's why Jesus Muhammad, was cast was and he became yeah. ungodly. Allah. Allah. According to Psalm chapter 97, verse 28. And according to Mark right. so chapter six, chapter fifteen, verse thirty-four, conversation. God of the Bible said, today, "I will not God has forsake shown the God you want." But His Jesus said, my God, my God, you know why have Quran? you forsaken me? It's a curse. So the God it's of Jesus cast and deceived Jesus. Yeah. So the God of the Egypt. Bible is a uh, deceiver. Sorry, the he deceived yeah. his prophets are gonna come on the and his and people. To God's According to this Jeremiah, is chapter, is Jeremiah chapter 10, we go. verse 14. Nearly 10 minutes. Why go. God of the Bible deceives his prophets, including prophet Jesus, Jesus and said, Israelites, his am. own people. When he said, but God, Allah always he supports he his people. That he is why God. is that? No, Jesus Muhammad couldn't make that claim. So all Muhammad do could you know do why? is plagiarize. Jesus said, Father, God lied. He said, the Father glorified me before the world was created. That's a lie. You know why? Because the Bible says, Jesus was made lower than the angels. If Jesus was made lower than the angels, that means Jesus cannot be God. Jesus was never glorified by God. And God of the Bible said, I will not share my glory with anyone. But Muhammad Jesus said, God gave me all authority. Jesus was never given any authority. You know why? 
because Jesus himself, according to Matthew chapter 20, verse 21 to 23, Jesus indicated, indicated that he was never given any authority. Because when the lady came to him and said, I want these two of my sons to be to sit at your right side and your left side and jesus said this is not me to do that but is the will of god the father to do that so according to the bible jesus is never given any authority and i said before and i'm repeating jesus never had his lying prophet muhammad was never deceived by prophet allah because Allah guaranteed and promised Prophet to win against his enemies. Before he passed away, his enemies came to an end. That's why in chapter 110, Surah Al Nasr, chapter 1 to 3, Allah told us he promised Prophet Muhammad to get the victory against his enemies and to cut the conquest of Makkah. And Allah also said, promised people will enter Islam in crowd. That's why before Prophet Muhammad passed away, let's go. And the Christian here, the fellow Christians here are asking, why did Allah deceive Prophet Muhammad? And my challenge is to show us where Allah deceived Prophet Muhammad There is no single verse in the Quran. Allah promised to support Prophet Muhammad. And he also said Prophet Muhammad will get the victory, would, will get the, according, to, according to Quran, Allah told his prophet, Prophet Muhammad and said, when you see the help and the victory and the conquest of Makkah comes, Allah was telling him, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu wasallam, that he's going to get the victory against his enemy. And the help is, Allah is going to help him, support his prophet. And also the conquest of Makkah. Before Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam passed away, he controlled all Arabs. He won against his enemies. And he, the, he took over Makkah before he passed away. So where did Allah deceive Prophet Muhammad There is no single verse in the Quran and I'm challenging any Christian to show me where Allah deceived Prophet Muhammad But it's the other way around. Prophet Muhammad is the other way around. In the Bible, God of the Bible deceived his prophets and also deceived his people, Israelites. According to Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 40, God of the Bible promised to look after Israelites and he promised them to look after them but what happened next he deceived them and also he promised he never promised to look and support after his prophets that's why Jesus was deceived and betrayed by Judas Iscariot according to the false crucifixion so if Jesus himself was deceived and he was given false messages God of the Bible said according to Ezekiel chapter 14 verse 9 if a prophet is given a false message, I the Lord, I the Lord deceived that message. If I, de lo lo I the Lord deceived that prophet. So if Je God of the Bible said this, and Jesus said to his disciples, according to the Gospel of John, chapter 16, verse 32, Jesus said to his disciples, there will be a time, all of you will depart away from me. But the Father will not forsake me, but he shall be with me. And when the crucifixion was got on, was occurring, Jesus cried loud and begging his God, saying, my God, according to Mark chapter 15, verse 34, he said, my God, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? But before, in the, uh, the, just the, the Gospel of John, chapter 16, verse 32, he just said, God will be with me. He will not forsake me. But according to Mark, chapter 15, um, 15, 15 verse 34, Jesus is begging God and saying, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? 
So that means he was given a false message. And God said what? If a prophet is given a false message, I, the Lord, deceived that prophet. So Jesus is a false prophet. He was deceived by God of the Bible. And according to Deuteronomy, chapter 20, 18, verse 22, God of the Bible said, if a prophet speaks or predicts a fu the future and his prediction does not come true, God of the Bible said, I am that prophet spoke without my authority and you should not fear of him. So Jesus here, he's spoken without God's, God's authority and he was never given God's authority. But Jesus claimed all authority was given by me, was given to me by God. So who gave him? If God of the Bible said, if a prophet predicts the future and his prediction does not come true, that prophet spoke without my authority and he should be taken away, take, taken away from among the community of Israel, Israelites. So Jesus was taken to the community of Israelites and he was not given any authority. Jesus, Christians always tell us Jesus was given, Christians always tell us Jesus was given authority, but he has no authority. Who gave him? If God of the Bible says Jesus is a false prophet and he was taken away from the king and community of Israelite and he was deceived by God of the Bible and he was given a false message by God or whatever, according to the, uh, these verses, Jesus never received anything, anything from God, never had anything from God because God of the Bible is denying whatever Jesus said according to the verse I just quoted. So Jesus, he was possessed by demon. That's why 40 days Jesus was possessed by demon and also he was working with demons. According to Mark chapter 5 verse 12, 13, Jesus obeyed demons. Because of that, he killed 12 about 2,000 pigs. So Jesus never had authority even before the world was created. But he lied according to John chapter 17 verse 5 where Jesus said, Father glorify me with the glory I had with you before the world was created. If before the world was created, Jesus was glorified by God and he had glory with God, then how come Jesus was made lower than the angels? Why, where is the glory? There's no glory there according to Psalm chapter 8 verse 5 also paul quoted from psalm chapter 8 verse 5 according to 1 corinthians chapter and according to hebrews chapter 2 verse 9 so jesus was made lower than the angels so jesus that means he had no glory with god before the world was created according to isaiah chapter four, chapter 42 verse 8 god said i will not share my glory with anyone so how can Jesus have glory with God? How can Jesus have any authority when Jesus himself needed someone to take him to the heaven? According to Luke, the Gospel of Luke, chapter, 20, chapter 24, verse 51. And according to Acts, chapter 1, verse 3, Jesus was taken to heaven after he claimed all authority was given to him by God. As he said in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 28, verse 18. So Jesus, he was never given any authority, even in the judgment day, even in heaven. Jesus had, has no authority. According to Matthew chapter 15, uh, no, according to Matthew chapter 20, verse 21 to 23. Also Jesus, he has no authority, never. It's impossible because according to God of the Bible, according to Old Testament, Exodus chapter, chapter 15, verse God of the Bible, chapter 15, verse 18, God of the Bible said, I will go, it says God will reign forever and ever. That means God will reign etern et and et God will reign forever and ever. Jesus, how can Jesus have authority? My challenge, I'm still waiting any Christian to tell me where Prophet Muhammad was deceived by God, uh, by Allah. Allah promised to look after Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam until he conveys the message and he conveyed the message of Allah and he got the victory against his enemies but according to the according to bible Jesus never got a, an, an, the victory against his enemies even when he comes back Christians believe he will come and bring peace 
but Jesus is not going to bring peace even in judgment day he will ignore Christians according to Matthew chapter 2 7 verse 21 to 23 so Jesus never won against his enemies he never got victory against his enemies he never got support from his God that's why he was deceived he was given false messages he said poison is medicine according to Mark chapter 16 verse 17 to 18 no one can prove to me that Jesus is a prophet or Jesus is the beloved one of God he's the false son of God he was deceived he was cast by God same as Satan according to Deuteronomy chapter 20 and 21 verse 23 according to Galatians chapter 3 verse 13 and Proverbs chapter 3 verse 33 says all the weak and the curse of the God is upon the wicked is upon the wicked house and God of the Bible said he will abandon he will forsake the wicked child children that's why Jesus was forsaken according to Mark chapter 15 verse 34 and in Psalm chapter 37 verse 20 and 28 <laughs>